Blessings family, how's everybody doing? You know, I pray all is well with you and your family. Welcome back. I'm just stopping by for a quick moment to release unto you what the Lord began to reveal to me as I was studying his word. I was in the book of Matthew in chapter 7 and chapter 12. I was going back and forth between the two where Jesus was teaching about you should know them by their fruit. And he was talking about the corrupt tree. So when I begin to study the word, what I got out of the word is that he was saying the heart is the root. He said our language is the fruit. And I was just sitting there. The heart is the root and our language is the fruit. But we know he was talking about the false prophets, but I just sat there and kind of meditated on that part right there. And I began to think about how everything flows from the heart, people. Everything flows from the heart. And we know that people harbor so much in their heart they have bitter they have anger they have lust they have so many things they have mess they have gossip they just have so much embedded in their heart and some of that stuff is deeply rooted my god and it's flowing from the heart and as i begin to think about you should know them by their fruit meaning their actions as well a lot of these people's actions are speaking louder than their words their actions are speaking so loud. I am looking at these people on a day-to-day -day basis. And these are the people that say they are of God. But their actions are showing me something differently. And when we get back to that heart, it says, Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak it, people of God. They are speaking from a bitter heart, an angry heart. A lot of these people are doing that. And we're going to have to stand in account for every idle word that we speak. So we have to be careful of what we are speaking in this hour. Are we speaking wholesome words? A lot of these people are not speaking wholesome words. So the Lord is saying, be careful in this hour. Because there's so many false prophets out here. So many fake people out here that are pretending. So we are looking at the fruit of everything. What are they speaking? As I begin to search out idle words, it says an idle word is nothing. It doesn't edify the people. It doesn't minister grace unto the people, nor does it give instructions. And this is to the people that are listening. It's not doing anything for them. And these people are going to have to stand in account for every idle word. That's what the Lord began to show me. So what kind of fruits are we bearing? Are we speaking wholesome words to the people? We know that God knows our heart. And everything is flowing from that heart. My God. So we have to be careful, people of God. Because the enemy has his people out here. Just speaking all type of stuff that sounds good to the people. And the Lord say, you shall know them by their fruit. A lot of you are keeping company with these people. Their mouth are so foul. And the Lord say, they are not speaking wholesome words. You are to get away, people of God. Separate yourself from these people. Evil communication corrupts good manners. You don't want to be corrupt by these people. You have to make sure that you are guarding your ears, people of God. Be careful of what you're speaking. And don't harbor anything in your heart. Because what's in your heart is going to soon come out. He said that you will know them by their fruit. Remember, the heart is the root. And our language is the fruit. So what are we speaking in this hour? Are we speaking what thus said the Lord? So be careful of your language, people of God. I just pray that this message right here will be an enlightenment for someone out there. Some of these people's actions are speaking too loud and it's not of God. So I encourage you all today to just step back, take inventory. Think about all the people that you are dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. Are they standing for Christ? You want to think about all those things. I just pray that you all take heed to this message. You know that I love you with the love of Christ. And I will be back at that appointed time. And until then, 
you all stay blessed. Bye-bye.